Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Brothers Auto Sales in Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this beautiful 2011 Ford F-250 King Ranch Power Stroke. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the F-250. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specifications and show many of the features that this truck has to offer. So we'll go ahead and get started by walking around the exterior. It's got a nice Oxford white in color with two-tone beige on the bottom. Nice King Ranch Special. This one does have fog lights built into the front bumper. Color matched accents on the mirrors. Blacked out turn signal indicators. Blacked out cab lights as well. This one is the Power Stroke. It does have its factory running boards. Keyless entry pad on the door. This is a short bed. It does have the FX4 off-road package. This one does have a tow package in the back. Color matched rear bumper. Backup sensor is built in. This one does have a nice backup camera in the back. This does have a Penda liner drop-in bed liner with a draw type fifth wheel hookup. Nice headache rack on the top that is color matched. It does have the tailgate step. It's a nice feature on these F-150s and Super Duty trucks. Just flip that step out, fold the bar up like so. Then to get back, just grab and hoist. Very nice feature to have to gain access to your rear cargo. And before I go on the interior of this truck, I would like to show you that it does come with remote start. It's very simple how it operates, just basically hit lock and hit the remote start button twice. And there you go. To turn it off, just hit the button again. Now we're gonna go on the interior. Inside, this does have the King Ranch Pacific brown saddle leather interior with black accents. You have all your power options right here. Your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and power mirrors. The mirrors do automatically fold in by leaving the controller in the center and pulling back. And it takes them on in. That one's jammed open. You pretty much get an idea of how it works. They also do power extend. So you're towing something wider than the truck. So let's go ahead and jump inside here. It's got a very nice easy step in height. The mirror adhesive is kind of falling off, so that's why it's hanging from the cord. But anyway, that will hopefully be fixed one day. Overall, it's a very nice truck. Now we're going to start the engine here. Gauges do do a nice sweep on the 2011 model only. It does have a tire pressure monitor fault, but all the tires do have air in it, so the sensor is probably just bad. It does have 129,000 miles in its odometer. Very decent amount of miles on this truck. So, let's go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. It's got a brown saddle leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power assisted steering. This has a six speed 6R140 automatic transmission with your traditional low gear selection and manual shiftability controlled by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. You also do have a tow haul mode which raises the transmission shift points for better performance when towing. And once you put the vehicle in reverse, it does show your integrated backup camera through the navigation screen with guidance lines on it. Very nice. Now we're going to turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, the fog lights, and the hazards. Driver's window is automatic down. 
All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. All right, now let's go ahead and go back in. Shut off all the lights. And now, I'm gonna pop the hood, show the engine. At the busiest end of this F-250, we find here it's 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel V8. Produces 400 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. It does have an air aid, cold air intake here on the side. Runs very nice. Original turbo carried all the way down there. Runs very nice. Intercooler's right over here. It's a water to air intercooler. blow-by and as far as fuel economy these trucks get an average of about 15 miles per gallon so if you drive them right that is so let's go ahead and shut the hood here we'll go back inside sorry if you hear a lot of highway noise in this video now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds Very nice beefy sound. Your parking brakes located right down here. Just press to set. The indicator light shows right up there in the dash. And then pull this lever here to release. All right, now let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window, check out some of the interior features. It does have its original Sony sound system. Six presets up here, tune, volume. Obviously you mute if you push right there. Your radio controls are right here. You do have AM and FM and satellite radio. Here's all your presets, electronic presets right there. For your media, you have your CD, DVD, jukebox, it's basically an in-car MP3 player. Use your device. Bluetooth, your track seek right there. Sound, you can go through all your equalizer settings. More settings display or clock. There was already your display settings, feedback settings, system settings, valet mode, and voice control. Track seek down here, map up here for your nav, destination. Nav, information, phone, and turn off the display right there. Very nice system. Your climate controls down here. Your fan speeds right here. Temperature. This is a dual climate control, so the driver and passenger can have their own temperatures. Your different zones are controlled right through here. Front defrost, mirror defrost, AC control, recycler, max AC, auto AC. It does have heated and ventilated seats. It's a very nice thing to have, especially here in Texas. AC off, press this dual to control both sides simultaneously. Show your outside temperature there. 12 volt power point. Traction control off, downhill assist, Microsoft Sync, USB line ends down here. 12 volt power point down below. Brake controller down here. Four auxiliary switches. Four-wheel drive controls right there. Glove box. Storage pockets on the side of the door. The mirror is auto dimming. Visors with vanity mirrors. It's 
sunroof. I'm gonna unoperate that. Whoops. There. There's it's tilt out. There's the slide. It is a one-touch automatic roof. Soaking in that Texas sun. Right up here is the power sliding rear window. And you can close up the sunroof like so. Center console inside there. Power point. Two cup holders up there. Little storage compartment down here. Your, your cruise control is to the left. The right's all your radio and media controls. Right here is all your, your heads up display options. Your gauge mode, you can show your trans and old temp. Trip A and B. Right there shows your compass. Go over to your fuel economy, you can show your average miles per gallon, your fuel history, truck apps, your through your off-road settings and trailer settings, settings for your driver assist, vehicle, my key, language, units, system reset, and your information. Very nice system to have. Wiper controls are on the turn signal stock. It does have a tilt steering wheel and power pedal adjust. Very nice. It does have a full power sliding tilting driver's seat. Power recline and power lumbar support. I can show you in the back seat. You do have pretty good amount of room in the back. I'm 6'5 in height and this is how much room I have. It's pretty back, pretty dark in here with that window tent. There's your center armrest that folds down with two cup holders built in. Two AC fans for the rear passengers. One 10 volt outlet for hooking up like a laptop charger to watch movies on a long day. A long trip, I should say. Storage compartment down here. 12 volt power point. Two cup holders. Storage on the back of the front seat. Two storage compartments on the side of the door. The bottom of the seat does fold up for extra cargo space. You do have storage compartments underneath. Overall, this is a very nice looking truck. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2011 Ford F-250 King Ranch. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.